What's going on guys? Andy here, Cutting Clean Line Care, and I'm still sick guys. I feel horrible. Super high blood pressure last night, I think it's because of all the medications I'm taking. I feel horrible. Today's one of those days where I would call into work, but when you own your business, you really can't do that. So uh, yeah, I'm just got, I got, what, seven? I'm mowing seven today. One of them I'm going to show you, it's just a new property, but I was just going to show you in a more of an explanation of why I'm not getting rid of a 36 walk behind in my fleet for what I'm doing. Uh, this property is going to be kind of a prime example of why. A couple areas where it's always shaded, always wet, huge drop offs in the back, big hills, and your walk behind mowers are going to take care of that situation no matter what. It's not as easy on the stander. Once it starts wanting to kind of slide or go one way, you're going. There's nothing you can do about that. With the walk behind, it's lighter. It's easier to control and do that stuff. So let's go check this property, guys, out. Let's go check this property out, guys. Hold on. Let's go check this property, guys, out. We're going to check guys out. Cut and clean does. That's who. Let me take a second and elaborate a little more on what I'm saying. I'm not saying everybody needs a 36 inch, you know, walk behind in their fleet. But as an owner operator, I don't have someone trimming while I'm mowing or anything like that. So that's the old seatbelt deal. Should I? All right, I'm back. Seatbelt on, seatbelt in hand. I'm not saying everybody needs a 36 in their fleet. I'm just saying I'm a solo owner operator guy. So the more time I can save on any property is great to me. Hence the reason I pretty much eliminated my push mower. Because the 36 is going to get into everywhere I need. And if there is something that's real gnarly, I'm going to trim it before I push mow it. A, I know I'm going to be able to trim it faster than I'm going to be able to push mow it. I got to go back to the trailer, get the push mower, unload it, take it to where the spot is with the trimmer. You just knock it all out at once. Do bigger swath, you do bigger swipes, bigger passes with the trimmer. It's just a lot faster to me in that sense. So that's why the 36 inch walk behind is great to have on my fleet at all times because it's a mower that's going to be able to tackle any gnarly and you know sticky situation for me. So that's just kind of my explanation for that. So we are at the property guys and this is what I'm talking about. I know it's not going to look as just on camera but that goes down pretty far pretty fast and this is all super super wet at all times. It's never dry. Uh, I've tried taking the standard down here before, uh, both the times I've tried it, it's, you know, not, not necessarily came out bad, but it was to the point where it was sketchy enough to where I wasn't going to try it again because it does slide and it's hard to recover. So if you don't recover it going down this, you're going off that and that ain't nothing I want to deal with. All this back here is always wet. Same thing with in that little gate back there. It's always pretty wet, pretty gnarly, pretty steep. And that's kind of because I the only reason I'm coming out with this video is I get a lot of people asking me why I'm not selling the 36 or why I'm keeping it and I'm just kind of giving you a reason for me on why I'm keeping the 36 standard and or the 36 walk behind sorry 36 walk behind in my fleet 36 standard is good too because I got a lot of properties that need that but let's get to mowing where are you going going so fast tonight have you ever stopped beside the road to smell the rose of life? Take a breath now, don't hold it in too long Cause you might end up missing out on life's short little song She's saying, ooh, you've got one life to live She's singing, ooh, you've got 
Well, there you go, guys. Man, I'm so sick. I'm sweating for no reason. It's 68 degrees outside, and I'm, dude, I'm just drenched. I'm just not in a good place and super sick. But that's about it, guys. That's kind of just what I wanted to explain to you. The main reason I'm keeping, not necessarily the Encore, but a 36 inch walk behind in my fleet for what I'm doing. Uh, a for us, it's always about trying to do the job as fast as we can with the highest quality that we can. But at the same time, you gotta weigh in the safety factor. And for some of this stuff, I just think it's too unsafe and not worth the risk to try doing it with a 48 or 36 inch standard. Might as well just grab the 36, be safe, still be efficient, and still have great quality. So that's about it for that goes. So I uh, appreciate you guys. Let's smash the like button, comment, and subscribe, guys. I'm going to get these done. I'm going to go home, and I'm going to go to sleep. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Cut and clean lawn care. Um, um, he kind of, he's, well, he's kind of weird. Yeah. He, uh, he's kind of a narcissist. Yeah, he yeah, yeah, yeah. talks about himself in the third, fourth, What's going on, guys? Andy person. Here, um, and if you don't know the dude, you better just start learning.